What is going on guys, my name is Fenster and welcome back to part 2 of this Gary's Mod Tool tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at the Ball Socket Tool. It's similar to the Axis Tool but it is slightly different. So much like the, the Axis Tool, I've found that keeping the force limit and the torque limit on zero is the most effective way to use this tool. Having them on anything else makes it very easily break and if you did that in your build it could mess everything up. And again, no collide is sort of hit or miss on this one like it depends what you're doing with it really if you need it to glide into things then keep it off but if if it doesn't matter then turn it on you know it's very dependent on what you're building i'm going to turn it off uh, leave it on sorry for this one just to show you an example so the first thing i'm going to do is just spawn in a static object which is going to be this fridge here and i'm going to freeze it in the air with the fizz gun i'm then going to spawn in something else we'll do this canister thing so we get our ball socket tool and the first thing we're going to do is left click on the object that we want to spin and then left click on the static object and much like the axis tool that's going to create like an invisible line between the tools of which it will rotate around but instead of it being a single axis joint it's a, the ball socket joint means it can rotate in any direction on the given line so it can swing sideways you can throw it around as much as you want it will go anywhere you know, a bit sort of like if you had a crane with a wrecking ball on the end, this is the sort of thing you would use because it can go side to side, left to right, in circles, pretty much anything you want it to do, it'll do. And that's the left click side of it. So there isn't actually a right click for this tool, there's only a left click. So much like the other one where you could right click and it gave you the ghostly sort of thing moving around, you can't do that with this one. So if you want it close to, Thing you're going to have to do is move it physically close to the object. Um, that's not very good. So move it physically closer and then use your tool gun. Click on that one and click on your static object like that. And that's the best way you can do it really because um, there's no right click, so you just have to move it yourself. That's the only way you can do it. But other than that, that is pretty much everything you can do for this tool. So Make sure you check out part three, which will be coming next, where we look at elastic um, and learning all about that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.